this our main event of the evening. The Russian is 29. The Brazilian is 30. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a Mekhakala, Russia, presenting the challenger, Iceman. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 8 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles the Bronx Oliveira. All right, this is for the UFC championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night in a fantastic arena. T-Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. Straight punch lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big body kick. Olivera's well, strike attempt there is blocked. Straight right, he misses. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Clinch. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Big ball from Swatch Land. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Just misses with the straight right. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. Oh, wow! Head kick! Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked. Like that. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. What a punch! Great. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. 
All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are, because it's dangerous. Oliveira's going for the sub here. He's got his chin in, and now it's starting to slip under the neck. We gotta push the arm down, maybe step into a crucifix. Wow, you don't see that very Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down to the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lands the right hand. Nice punch, man. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oliveira's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, nice. Nice. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Takedown defense holds up. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He is getting lit up right now, John. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Oliveira. All right, he closes the distance, gets the oh, single. Oh, huge right hand! He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Oliveira. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated, and so able to fight from both fighting stances. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round.
All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. It will feel so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, single collar tie now. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is that is it! Oh! And there comes the stoppage! He's done! He's done! <laughs> yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So, back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 42 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Iceman. Oh, what a moment there it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. That, you're crying? Are you crying? <laughs> I mean... Almost, a, it's hard not to feel emotional when you watch someone accomplish something that they set out to do so long ago. Congratulations to the champ. He did a great job.